So, hello, I want to talk to you about a small thing that annoyed me and I couldn't really figure out how to fix it. Um, so, here I have a model and the point with this was to uh, uh, bend the corners here and there. And uh, when I did the bend, I had created it into a flange. Um, using this and uh, I can bend the corners but when I bend the corners the surface I bend from is still there so originally when you bend the corner using the bend command in Fusion 360 it should sort of also flip the wall itself so I can show you here if I go and make a, a bend and then select this as the stationary side and let's say I want to bend it by this line here. There's two lines here. Let's say I just want to bend it by this line. So you see, this is the bended part. And then you have the original wall here still. And uh, it doesn't matter if I flip it to the other side, it still shows the original wall. And as you can see here, it's just one one plate and this is so confusing I just could not figure out why this was and um, let's see how should I explain this the main reason behind this is because I saw a video online where someone said you should extrude before you put the flange what I didn't realize at that point was that a flange also doesn't extrude and since this is a sheet metal model it uh, makes two models so if you see here I have an extrude and then I have a flange <coughs> as it stands now both of these are minus one millimeter thick so the so, so they go in the opposite direction. Uh, I didn't realize this until I noticed, like now you can see that it's just the same width, but <coughs> when I realized the error or, or the cause of it, I was puzzled because um, when I was using Onshape uh, and I tried to uh, do ex uh, extrudes, I ended up with several layers. And um, what I saw here was that originally this had two layers. And the reason for that is because the original model I had made had a sheet metal width of one millimeter and the extrusion I had made had a sheet metal width of uh, stainless steel of 2.5 millimeters and if you then go to modify and sheet metal rules now I have changed it but you can see you have two models here both of them says one millimeters but at that point this one said two millimeters so if I change this to 2.5 like this. You can see the original problem I had is showing quite clearly, but when you're working with a model um, and you don't really notice the error you did, it's kind of hard to see why this happened. Especially since the only reason I can see this extra one here is because it's extruded to be wider than the one I actually am trying to bend. And because the one I'm actually trying to bend has the same, uh, has the original with the one millimeters and the <coughs> you cannot really see that there is actually two models there. Unless you actually pay attention to there being an extrusion and a flange. You can see here, when I select the flange, it marks everything. When I select the extrusion, it only marks the front. Now, the solution to this is actually quite simple. 
I'll just delete both. And then I have the model itself. And I just select it and I click flange. Then when I have click flange, <coughs> I can just mark every piece I want to flange. In the middle section. So now all the pieces are marked. And you can see that you get like an extrusion uh, that shows that's going to happen. So I'm going to change to have the model on this side and I make it as a new body. And now you can see it's showing as 2.5, but it's actually just one model. Uh, but the reason it says two here is because I have the, it's, it's actually the the, the flange that's 2.5 millimeters. That's why it shows so wide. So I'm going to go and I'm going to modify the sheet metal rules for this one and change that to one millimeters. Now you can see it has the correct width. And because I don't have an extrusion here now, if I try to bend it, I select the midpoint here, like the middle big section, and it will automatically notice that this is the stationary place and everything on this side will be the place I want to bend. So I click here, everything seems to be selected, but now it's in uh, select the thing to bend mode. So I can go here and you see if I hold the mouse over here, it will uh, bend when I hold the line there or here. So I'm going to try and just click there. Now you see you get an opaque square instead, which is the correct one. It just illustrates where the original wall was. And then you can see you have the correct bend. And it also works in the opposite direction. So if I want to bend this one and just change the direction, you can see it works in both directions. So if you ever get one of these models where you have an extra wall, usually it means that you have a second sheet metal model in, in the background, so sort of overlaps. So uh, like with an extrusion and you're trying to bend the flange. And what happens then is that you're actually bending the flange, but the extrusion is still there and it cannot be bent. So you have to remove the extrusion and just create a flange, which also do the extrude for the flange in itself in the operation. So I hope that can help someone to uh, easier notice what was wrong if you end up with the same problem. Because for me it was kind of a hassle. I, I actually tried to remake the model <coughs> uh, as you can see on the on the sketch. Let me see, edit sketch. You can see none of these are constraints. Because for some reason I cannot make this one constrained. I've, you can see I've, I've got a lot of stuff here and I like put all the sides to have dimensions and everything, but it just doesn't constrain at all, which is kind of weird. And I cannot move corners or anything. See, try to move the corners, doesn't work. Ah, there it actually moves the corner. <coughs> uh, but anyway, you don't have to make everything constrained, but it's a good thing to do. I am not so good on the constraints, so that's why I haven't managed to get it like this. But anyway, uh, the goal with this video was to show you what can be the reason why you see like a, a part that doesn't bend. So yeah. Okay, that's it. Hope that helped you.